let us start the next beautiful topic projectile motion right please all of you see here see if i project the ball with a velocity u vertically upward with a vertical velocity u upward what's happening it's going in a it's going in a straight line up and coming down back as it is going in a straight line up so we call it as 1d motion instead of projecting it vertically upwards instead of projecting it vertically upwards if i project it with an angle with an angle some theta with the vertical if i project it with an angle theta with the horizontal let us say i have given an initial velocity u making an angle theta with the horizontal making an angle theta with the horizontal now tell me what will happen to the ball's motion what will happen to the ball's motion huh please all of you see here all of you see here now what's going to happen see if i project it up it will go vertically if i project it with some angle Now, if I give some angle or project it horizontally from some height, all these motions, see, this This is nothing but similar to this. This, let us say, this is the highest point. If I give a velocity here, it will be following this. When we solve, you will understand it better. All these, all these are nothing but what? We call them as projectiles. What do you mean by that? I have just projected, I call it as projectile motion. Why call it as projectile motion? I have just projected it. I have just projected it. A missile is projected. Rocket will be launched. I mean, see, it just a missile is projected. You have a football or something. I just give a kick. It, will, it is projected. It is projected. You can have what is this? Uh, cannon. A cannon. A, something is fired from the cannon. It will be also following a projectile motion, right? So as it is projected, the path we call it as a projectile, right? They follow these paths. Now, I my target is to analyze this motion so is it a 1d motion or 2d motion it's a curve right it is moving in both x and y direction so it's definitely a it's definitely a 2d motion now i need to analyze it same techniques are split into x and y solve separately in x and y the only factor that will be relating between relating between x and y is there is no separate time in x direction no separate time in y direction it is always same time whatever you do so that's the one which will link between x and y and you mix wherever you want please all of you see here so if f if I give an initial velocity u making an angle theta with the horizontal so it's going to trace a path something like this it's going to trace a path something like this now my requirements is to find again the same thing what's that maximum height reached next see if I project it vertically up it's going up and coming down so it's not having any horizontal distance but when I project with some angle it is also having a horizontal distance which i call it as range so i want to find out what's the maximum height range what's the range and with what velocity it is going to come and hit it back what's the time taken to reach the maximum height and time taken to come back and again what is the velocity at different different positions and what is the velocity at the highest point all these i want to find out are you okay with this now tell me what to do if i want to do this again the same technique what's the same technique split it into split it into east and west bengal right split this into x direction and y direction solve separately in x and y direction you wanted the maximum height combine it there you wanted this point combine it here wherever you want you combine it and get the final values now please all of you see here so how to solve it so let us say this is my origin this is my origin this is my origin right now let us say this is the x-axis and y-axis now initially the ball is at the initially the ball is at the origin initially the ball is at the origin so x equal to 0 y equal to 0 next now split the velocity into x direction and y direction so this is ux this is ui now what is this ux going to be adjacent side so u cos alpha this is opposite side see opposite in the sense you get it here you close the triangle you close the triangle opposite to theta so it is u sine alpha are you okay next what is the acceleration it is having what's the acceleration it is having huh when it is 
from the starting point to end point i'm not applying anything except at this pulling it down as at this pulling it down it will have an acceleration due to gravity g downwards now g is in which direction vertical direction that is y direction so acceleration x direction will become zero because there is no component in it and what will happen to acceleration in y direction is it increasing ui or decreasing ui as it is trying to go up it is pulling it down in the opposite direction so i will write it as minus g are you okay now see these conditions are same instead of u you have u sine alpha 50 u sine alpha 60 70 some value i have remaining everything is same like yesterday's problem of going up and coming down now so what i do is first let us analyze in y direction because i have studied i have already done the freely falling body case that is going up and coming down then we'll come and solve in the x direction because there is nothing in x direction it's very simple first we'll analyze the complex y direction okay so what happens in y direction because of this u sine alpha it's trying to go up acceleration that is earth is pulling it come down it's pulling it down so because of that reason what will happen the velocity will keep on decreasing 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 and because of this velocity it will move forward right it will decrease 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 at some point it will become zero that is the maximum height that is this point and then again the velocity will start increasing downwards it will increase 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 and it will come and hit the ground back so till here i will call it as the it's going up so it is ascent here it is coming down i will call it as descent going up ascent coming down descent now now please all of you see here now what is that see any object you project with a velocity u it will come and hit the ground back with the same velocity and at the maximum height when i will say to a maximum height it's going up 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 the velocity is decreasing 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 at some point it will become zero and that point it will start coming down and that point is the maximum height so the velocity at the maximum height is how much zero velocity in y direction at the maximum height and specifying the y direction is zero i don't know about x direction i'm analyzing only in y direction so the final velocity of ascent will become initial velocity of descent so the initial velocity of descent is zero and finally it will come and hit the ground with the same velocity what is the velocity u y that is u sine alpha it will also come and hit the ground back with the same velocity u sine alpha this is all information we can get from yesterday's analysis i projected with u sine alpha forget about x direction sir when i am dealing problem in y direction i i am not at all thinking what is happening in x direction let it go off now in y direction i projected up with u sine alpha as it is going up the velocity is decreasing at maximum height zero as it is coming down again it is gaining 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 it will finally hit with the same velocity u sine alpha and now i need to find this maximum height that's what is my target go ahead so in y direction going up ascent right now first case i'm doing for the going up case that is ascent case huh. initially it is at the ground y equal to zero the velocity initially is u sine alpha and acceleration is it is in the opposite direction so minus g now at maximum height what is the velocity going to be in maximum height zero now height is the resistance level is h max now i know initial velocity u sine alpha final velocity is zero i know the acceleration can i get h max what's the best formula i don't have time what's the best formula v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s now substitute everything in this so what's that going to happen huh. Initial velocity, sorry, final velocity in y direction is at the maximum height it is zero, zero. Initially it is having u sine alpha. So u square equal to two. Acceleration is minus g into the distance traveled is maximum height h max. So minus minus gone and h max is equal to send this 2g this side. So it will become u square sine square alpha by 2g. So the for maximum height reached h max is equal to u square sine square alpha by 2g yesterday i have derived the same formula what's the formula i have derived maximum height reached h max maximum height reached h max is equal to anyhow i have kept it in the slide one sec huh. maximum height reached h max is equal to u square by 2g yesterday i derived it u square by 2g now i'm mentioning u because yesterday i don't have x and y and all now today i have split it so 
vertical direction is nothing but y direction so it is u y square by 2g what is the velocity in y direction initially u sin alpha substitute here u sin alpha whole square that is nothing but u square sin square alpha by 2g if you remember yesterday's formula u square by 2g instead of projecting up with u i projected with u sin alpha u sin alpha so it is u square sin square alpha by 2g next next what else i want maximum height reached now time taken to reach the maximum height how i got it yesterday v equal to u plus 80 v equal to u plus 80 final velocity zero initial velocity u sin alpha acceleration is minus g now that is nothing but the time taken to reach the maximum height that is while going up that is nothing but ascent time of ascent is ta time of ascent is ta so time taken to reach the maximum height time of ascent ta is equal to huh send gta this side and send g down again u sin alpha by g u sin alpha by g and if you remember yesterday's concept i'm not going to derive again how much is the time taken to again come back to the ground time of descent that is nothing but equal to time of ascent time of ascent is nothing but equal to time of descent so it will be the same u sin alpha by g if you want again write down the same v square minus u square equal to 2as and again substitute you will get it okay so i'm just writing it out time of ascent is nothing but equal to time of descent so time of ascent equal to time of descent is equal to u sin alpha by g u sin alpha by g therefore total time of flight is nothing but time of ascent plus time of descent u sin alpha by g plus u sin alpha by g so it is nothing but 2u sin alpha by g yesterday we got total time of flight is 2u by g so i have to write it as what u y by g u y by g 2u y by g total time of flight 2 1 is u by u y by g total is 2u y by g so in place of u y substitute u sin alpha so 2u sin alpha by g 2u sin alpha by g okay now i'm substituting back in this so what is that i am having maximum height reach is u square sin square, sin square alpha by 2g to reach the maximum height time taken is u sin alpha by g and the time taken to come down time of descent is u sin alpha by g so total time of flight t is equal to 2u sin alpha by g we got maximum height reach and time taken next what is left out i want to find out the range and that range is in which direction x direction so we'll start the analysis in x direction now tell me what's happening in x direction it is starting in the origin and it's having a velocity of how much initially u cos alpha what about the acceleration so as it is going as it is going generally there will be a drag for the time being we are not considering a so there's no a resistance so what is happening in x direction just you give velocity it's going with that velocity it's going with that velocity nothing nobody is pulling it nobody is pushing it so the velocity will always remain constant that's why acceleration is because the acceleration is zero so it will keep on going until what time it will go until what time it will go see as long as the particle is going up and coming down it will continue its motion it will continue its motion once it touches the ground it will stop once it touches the ground it will stop right so as long as it is going up and coming down this u sin alpha will carry it this u sin sorry u cos alpha will carry it u cos alpha will carry it how much time as long as the ball is in air as long as the ball is in air how much time that is in air as long as it is going up and coming down going up and coming down so that is the time 2u sin alpha by g that much time it is moving it forward now now see here next direction so initially it is at origin initial velocity is u cos alpha acceleration is zero and the time for which it is traveling is 2u sin alpha by g i want to get the distance so what's the best formula when i know time s equal to ut plus half a d square initially it is u cos alpha time is 2u sin alpha by g plus half a t square what happens to the acceleration it's zero so what i'm left with said so u u u square cos alpha 2 sin alpha combine like and write that's 2 sin alpha cos alpha that is nothing but sin 2 alpha by g so the maximum reach is u square sin 2 alpha by g i got the maximum height u square sin square alpha by 2g time 2u sin by 2u sin alpha by g range u square sin 2 alpha by g i got all the three so i have everything here right so the maximum range u square sin square alpha by 2g maximum height u square sin square alpha sorry mag maximum height u square sin square alpha by 2g range u square sin 2 alpha by g and total time of flight is 2u sin alpha by g
okay so maximum height reached range and time taken total time of flight okay now shall we start the analysis please all of you see here what happens in x direction to the velocity as the acceleration is zero everywhere the velocity is u cos alpha u cos alpha so at every point the velocity is u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha in x direction whatever the velocity in y direction that is the vertical direction initially it is u sin alpha as it goes up it will decrease 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 finally it will become zero here so at the highest point the velocity in y direction is zero whatever the velocity in x direction still this velocity is there that is u cos alpha so the total velocity at the highest point is nothing but velocity in x direction that is u cos alpha because y term has gone to zero so the only velocity that is there at the highest point is also u cos alpha that is v huh. and as it is coming down coming down again the velocity is increasing 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 finally it will become u sin alpha and still the velocity in x direction is here is how much u cos alpha so what will be the resultant velocity here still the same u here this side theta now it is see this this velocity has come down so it will become theta with the horizontal in the downward direction here it is in the anti-clockwise direction here it will be in the clockwise direction so because this velocity has been flipped down right as it is down it has been down hitting right now please all of you see here again so at each and every point the velocity in the horizontal direction is same u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha even at the highest point it is u cos alpha whatever the velocity in y direction as you go up and up it will decrease as you come down it will increase and you take it any same height it will be same in magnitude but opposite in direction i proved for you yesterday it will be same in direction so same in magnitude opposite in direction same in magnitude opposite in direction see what happens to the velocity it will keep on decreasing 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 finally it will become zero the only velocity left out for is is u cos alpha that is the total velocity at the highest point and again it will be increasing 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 so you take at the same height the velocity is same 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 finally it will hit back with u sin alpha so the end point the velocity is going to be so all of you are okay till here hope you have gained some knowledge from my lecture if you feel so please subscribe to the channel please leave your valuable feedback and doubts in the comment section for my complete video lecture series enroll in octomy thank you let's catch you soon in octomy have a good day